This is a condition that probably more than 17% of the population has. And I think the numbers, and that, that's a pre-COVID number, post-COVID, post-COVID vaccine, I have to believe those numbers are much higher. And well, we, first we're talking about MCAS mast cell activation syndrome. What are some of the symptoms? This is a multi-system inflammatory condition. And inflammation is, is really one of the hallmark features of it. But um, the general themes of mast cell activation syndrome are inflammation plus minus allergy or allergic phenomena. So, you know, if they're being released in the skin, you can have rashes, hives, you know, various things happening there. If they're being released in the respiratory tract, you can have issues with breathing. Um, if it's happening in the, um, in the, in the heart or in the vasculature, uh, tachycardia, you can get postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, getting orthost orthostatic or dysautonomias. If it's happening in your stomach, you can get, um, you know, things like uh, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, SIBO, all the, so literally like almost every disease process that we see could be tied back in some way to the mast cell.